Well, Dak says all this stuff, and then you'll see someone tweet. Actually, he doesn't say anything bad about anybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Fan, think- fans, friends, uh, colleagues, work colleagues, they, it's, it's, it blows my mind, dude. Like I had a conversation with one of my work colleagues today, or excuse me, not today, about three days ago, um, because I had heard some issues they may have had and expressed in the locker room. And, uh, I called them and I said, look, Hey, uh, you apparently have an issue with me. I have a lot of the boys telling me about it. Like, uh, if you have an issue with me, man, all you got to do is call me. That's it. You know, like you don't have to run to the office. You don't have to run to the boys. You don't have to run to Meltzer. All you got to do is tell me, man, and we can uh, figure it out or we can, completely disagree and not figure it out but at least you came to me you know but um more often than not the fans are enjoying it which is the only reason that we do it um my colleagues are enjoying it uh you know and friends from the past friends current friends they're enjoying it as well and uh, it just it just feels good that there are people that want me to succeed in this, uh, especially in a world of social media where, uh, it's easy to say, I uh, hope you fail or you suck or right, whatever, right. or you have a shitty ass body or whatever. Well, I was going to say, I think what I figured out it's because people seem so conflicted and inconsistent about what you say. I don't think it's what you say. It's the subjects you talk about are things that aren't supposed to be talked about. Right. And I also think that, you know, in a world where people nowadays hate to hear the truth, man, and and they, they hate they hate conflict. I think I think uh, you know in twenty twenty three people don't like conflict. I think they love to hide behind uh, the apparition of the the tough guy mentality or tough guy mentality that social media brings to them. So they're allowed to do that or, t- or not even social media text messaging as well, you know, brings to them and allows them to think that they're this, they can stick their chest out and they're this tough guy or girl. Um, but then when, you know, reality sets in and we're allowed to talk face to face, I think that when it comes right down to it, someone who tells the truth because I haven't said anything bad about anybody. I haven't, I haven't uh, spilled any tea about anybody. All I've done is tell the truth and, 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 and made sure that I said it was my version of the truth. And I don't think that sets well with a lot of people in today's age because I think we all have to toe this line of being uh, on everyone's good side. And uh, I feel like if, and this is how I've always been, and I think this is my uh, biggest downfall maybe is that if I pretend to be on your good side, if I pretend to toe that line, um, then I'm being, uh, fake to myself. And then I think, you know, in the back of my head, if I'm being fake to myself, I gotta go home and face my daughter and my wife and I'm a fake human being to them too. And you know, it's all a spiral from there, but, uh, I'm going to be real to you. And I would hope that everyone would be real to me as well. 